Welcome to the next episode of my 11 HP series. So in this episode, what we're going to try and do are some of the quests that I wasn't actually able to finish in the previous series, just due to the fact that I didn't know how much HP experience I'd have spare and how exactly I should be doing them. So I'm going to be starting off this episode by trying to attempt the hardest quest for this account. Now, maybe it's not actually the hardest quest, but at least for me, with how many hours I put into this, it's researching it, thinking of potential ideas, I would definitely say this was a lot harder than any other quest I've done this account. Like, I thought Desert Treasure was probably going to be one of the easier quests compared to this one. So, yeah, this one was definitely very hard. Anyway, in the previous series, I showed a lot of ways I tried to do this. Tick eating potatoes, recoiling it down. But I did think of one method that probably would work as long as I had enough food. I came out here, like, sorry, I came in here with 30 purple sweets as well as um, Guthix Rest 4 which I forgot that I could actually use because I was using threes before and I forgot that you could actually make them go up one. So I made them all into fours and I thought, you know what? This should be good for like 160 damage and it only has 100 health. So this should be really good, but you know, it doesn't always hit low. It sometimes hits really high. I didn't bring iron because I did want it to only hit me for like twos and threes. Maybe I should have brought some range armor or something just so like, you know, black DI chaps or something just so it doesn't hit as often. But once again, I do want it to hit, you know, I do want it to hit me quite a lot just due to the fact that I don't want it to regenerate with its HP. If its regeneration was as good as gargoyles, this wouldn't even be possible, but as you see, it's getting lower and lower. Now, I only have 27 purple sweets left and about half my Guthix rests, and it's just above half. So I still think it's possible at this point, but uh, mini spoiler, it's not yet. I just get hit too often or too high and the purple sweets don't really cut it. Maybe if I brought all my purple sweets in the first go, it could have worked, but I was a little bit, you know, hesitant to bring them all in just due to the fact that maybe I got KO'd. I hadn't been here for ages. Like, think about it. This would have been probably, last time I was in this room probably would have been a month beforehand, just trying to get it out and see how it would work. But then I went back to Slayer, got the Granite Mole, did a lot of other things. And now that I know I have, I think, 60 HP experience free until level 12 HP, that I finally come back here. And as you can see, I've used most of my food and it's still well, you know, maybe you got 40 two HP left, I'm not sure. Not on any uh, special client. I think OS Buddy does show its HP if you attack it, but you know, uh, I don't know what it is at the moment. Maybe Runelight does. Maybe I should have tried Runelight, but oh well, it doesn't matter. Anyway, this is where I give up. Uh, I don't have enough food. I used 27 purple sweets, not great. Probably should have saved them just in case. Uh, I think the only way I get out of here is if I teleport. Uh, it says I did 108 damage. I don't know how I calculated that, but maybe I had a method. <laughs> I'm not sure. I don't think I was counting in my head, but maybe I was. Anyway, this is my second attempt with the rest of my purple sweets. So I have 63 left. Not a great number. I mean, I think I had, you know, 90 odd beforehand. And if I brought all them in, it definitely would have had a better chance of this. I'm trying again though, because, you know, maybe I was a bit unlucky, maybe not. I really should have just brought them all in the first attempt. It would have definitely been a better chance of this. Now, this clip's a bit more sped up just due to the fact that I don't think it's very exciting thing this, Sorry, seeing the same thing over and over again. So, sadly, another spoiler, but we don't succeed in this attempt either. It's just hitting me too high, and I don't have enough purple sweets. Maybe if I did, like, a few more medium clues or stuff, and I got up to, like, I don't know, 150 purple sweets, I think that's definitely viable. And then I reckon I could actually do this quest without getting any HP experience, which... I'm not sure if that's been done before, to be honest. I looked up for hours about how to do this quest with like 10 HP and stuff, and everything involves poisoning it with like a poison haster or a dragon dagger or something. But anyway, a small break because of my failures. I went back to fishing, and I actually got a, bo a big swordfish, which, you know, it's a nice uh, trophy for the bank. Not very useful, but it's the first one I've ever had on RS on any account, so that's really nice. Although, to be honest... I've like never really caught tuna and swordfish before, so it's not, you know, surprising that this is my first one ever. I've uh, never really been big into fishing. Uh, we also get a hard clue. We've been here for a while, caught almost 1k fish. I do need it for PKing eventually. Sadly, we can't do it because it's this step. Um, honestly, hard clues don't matter to me anymore. I've got my magic short bow. I've got my granite mole. The only thing nice would be a Robin Hood hat, but even that is just fashion scape at this point. I never really use it. So... This is my next method, and it is poisoning, but I haven't seen anyone actually do poisoning this way, and I'm quite surprised just due to the fact that this poisoning method seems a lot more viable than all the others, because 
With Dragon Daggers, and I believe Dragon Spears as well, you don't actually have a very successful poison rate. I believe it's only like 20 or 25%. It is very hard to research this. I have spent like at least half an hour trying to find out what the poison rate is, but I know it's very low because I've seen some videos of people doing it and it takes them sometimes five hits to actually get it poisoned up to 10 hits sometimes if they're unlucky. And that just does not seem very good because if the average is five hits, then I'm getting like over six and a half HP experience just to poison it in the first place. And yeah, that doesn't seem great. But with Emerald Bolt's E, you actually have a 55% chance to poison it on every hit or every successful hit, which is very good. Like, hopefully I should only have to do two damage, which would be really nice. Because I've also calculated with 60 HP experience free, and I, if I want to actually get Myth Gloves, I'm allowing myself five HP damage or five hits, I guess, in total for this quest to actually realistically get Myth Gloves still. And if I want to get my Mage Cape as well, I want to get even less. Sadly, the main reason I actually have to, you know, use so much HP experience to get Myth Gloves is the damn Chompy Bird quest, because the very first time with Chompy Bird, you have to kill the bird, which has 10 HP. Then for the recipe for disaster point, you have to, sorry, recipe for disaster part, you have to kill the bird again. Then you have to kill the Juggly, which has 20 HP, which is a total of 40 HP. And oh my god, that's so much HP experience. But jumping the gun again, let's go back to this. So I'm going to show the full run of this because realistically I only have one attempt of this if I actually want to get Myth Gloves. If I fail this then I probably can only get Black or I'm going to have to go to my Combat Bracelet idea. And either way I definitely would want to get Myth Gloves if I can because honestly I've spent a long time doing this and Myth Gloves is something I've always preferred. Even if I can't get the Mage Arena Cape that wouldn't be as bad. But if everything works out perfectly and I can just get this on the first one I believe I can get both. So... I'm just going to show how I do this. I did actually do this method for the first two clips in this episode as well, where I was trying to recoil it down, just because I do need to get my mage lowered every single time, because I think I'm like 75 mage at this point, and honestly, 76, and honestly, he just wouldn't hit me with his spells if I just don't get my mage lowered. And now that I'm ranging as well, I want to be as fast as possible, so I'm actually using the necklace of passage as well, just to get back here faster. Sadly, I run too far south. It was actually my first time using the necklace on this account to that destination at least. And anyway, what I do is I drink one of the Guthix rest to above he full HP and then I come in. I obviously want to get this done as fast as I can, just due to the fact that, you know, recoils and stuff in this. But this is the first time I'm actually going to be attacking a monster, you know, that isn't a gargoyle theoretically in a long time. So I have to try and poison it as fast as I can. Well, actually, it doesn't really matter too fast, but I definitely want my range to be as low as possible while hitting it. Like, as you see, I'm already on three range. Another reason I'm using iron is because I do want it to, um, you know, lower my range accuracy a little bit, but it also helps with mage defense. So there we go. We hit a one. Terrific. Sadly, there was none of, none of the poison swirl that goes around it, so I know it's not poisoned yet. But, you know, I did hit a one. That's good. And it's only a 55% chance to hit. So hopefully in the next hit, I can actually get it poisoned. But, you know, it's all RNG based anyway. And there we go, we did get a poison, sadly we hit a 3. But, as I said in my calculations, I was allowing myself up to 5 damage, which does give me 1 HP experience spare, or 1 extra damage hit spare before I think I'm going to get 12 HP. So, as long as everything else goes perfectly, the dream is still on, so it's all good, I guess, yeah, yeah. Alright, as you can see, the poison's working really well. We're still hitting 3s, we actually have lots of food. And I did bring uh, chocolate cakes because I need to face tank it really well. Because if the poison kills it while I'm not next to it, even if I have Dark Light equipped, it's not going to register as my kill, which means that this HP experience would be for nothing. Now, me running back here is really risky. I did know the poison wouldn't hit in straight away, but I should have just stayed face tanking it. Like, it was too risky to do that. Anyway, I'm doing Protect from Mage just because I don't want to get stacked out. And oh my god, we did it. We actually killed it. It registered as my kill. I didn't have to attack it with Dark Light at all. It's really nice. Um, I got three, no, four HP damage done in this quest, which, you know, not terrific, but honestly, as being the hardest quest for this account, I'm more than happy to say that four HP experience is good enough. So 47 attack, pretty good. I do need to get up to 50 anyway. We actually have 65 HP experience remaining. Sorry, my bad. So I think I was allowing 60 damage of hits, which is 70 HP experience or something. Either way, I did calculate it beforehand, I just, my memory is not terrific. And now that I finally finished the Granite Mole, I can also do the Death Plateau quest because I don't need to slay her anymore, and spiritual creatures don't matter anymore as well. So, another quest done, really nice. Um, that's another prerequisite for Desert Treasure, 
which I haven't, you know, even started yet, just due to the fact that I was never able to actually complete this quest. And now we're finishing off Troll Stronghold, it looks like. As a matter of fact, I think this is the last quest I need for Desert Treasure, which is really nice, because it'd be nice to get that quest over and done with. Although, to be honest, I still think that's one of the easier quests I have to do. I mean, there are some things I need to kill, but nothing that I think I really need to gain HP experience for. But anyway, we'll be doing that next episode, and thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys then.